Andy Hudson Knight here. I'm here to talk with you about a new exciting technology for Bluetooth that is slowly rolling out. I'm going to talk about what it's going to improve, the features we can expect in coming months and years. It's going to revolutionize the way we use our devices. And so we'll get into it right after this. Bluetooth technology has taken a lot of leaps and bounds in its growth over the last several years. We've enjoyed more and more hands-free experiences with our devices, whether it's our phone, whether it's our listening devices at home, like an Alexa or a Google Home. Bluetooth has enabled us to enjoy new freedoms, to enjoy experiences like having a smart home with a number of different devices. But what is coming soon is going to revolutionize Bluetooth even more, and it's going to take it to new levels. Granted, we do have to wait a little while for these changes to be released and to become standard, as with any new technology. And the Bluetooth, the new Bluetooth codec, which is dubbed as LC3, it stands for Low Complexity Communications Codec, it is going to blow away the current subband codec, the SBC, which is currently used in our devices for a number of reasons. This was announced at CES 2020, which was in January, just before the pandemic began. So the rollout of this technology and the uses could be further delayed because of what we're going through. It was co-developed by Fraunhofer Institute for Integrated Circuits by Ericsson, and also it is a going to bring us a lot of benefits like multi-stream audio, broadcasting to multiple devices, and then future integrations with hearing aid devices. So let's get into some of the ways this is going to benefit our experiences with our devices. And first of all, it's going to enable us to connect to multiple sources simultaneously. So what this means is you can have a single pair of headphones connected to multiple devices. So it could be connected to your phone, to your Alexa, to it could be connected also to a baby monitor if you have small children. And so if you get a call, you're going to hear it and be able to interact with that call with your headphones, hear something going on with your, your child through the baby monitor, get notifications via your Alexa, and it's going to just really seamlessly integrate all of these different external devices that we like to stay connected to. So currently one earbud connects at a time to your phone if you're using earbuds. And so what this presents is problems with latency, audio dropouts, because it's forcing the uh, the earbuds to connect to your device through one channel. With Bluetooth LE, it's, gonna, it's going to enable you to connect to your device through multi-channels, so it is going to improve latency. It's going to improve uh, just the, the quality of interacting with, with that particular device. Another area where it's going to in, it, there are going to be improvements is it's going to allow one source to connect with multiple Bluetooth devices. So what this means is it's going to allow multiple users to, to connect with one stream or device. So let's say you have an iPhone and you want to share uh, something on your phone, a, a music you're listening to. Instead of just being able to share it with one and maybe even two other people, which is now supported with the share audio that Apple has, you will be able to share it with dozens of people maybe even hundreds eventually. And what this can also do is it could revolutionize the way that we interact with uh, in different situations. Like think of it a movie theater. People could tune into different uh, language channels and watch the movie in their own language. Could be, you think of get, get, having a tour experience at a museum or a park. They can, the tour guide can now communicate to you through your own headphones through a Bluetooth channel. And the benefit also with this is these channels can be password protected. 
so let's say you're at an airport and an airport wants to communicate various things about your flight just only to passengers on that particular flight then you can have you can connect into that just uh, just you and the other passengers much like the way that you would connect with a Wi-Fi network and so it's just going to take uh, public experiences to the next level so what about what about hearing aids now hearing aids are uh, a great feature for people with hearing loss obviously but what about the ability for people with hearing loss to be able to tune in and hear something that others with normal hearing would have no problem hearing it could be broadcast over Bluetooth directly to their hearing aid and in the next decade we might even see TVs that integrate directly with hearing aids so that the generation and population that struggles with hearing can hear their TVs better without having to turn the volume way up externally and bothering everyone around them or just having it be loud uh, in the house. Now I mean there's a lot of different things that we could do with this technology and it's something that's going to roll out as I said over the next months and years it's not something that's happening right now and especially with the pandemic it's going to be delayed even further in my opinion now what are some other benefits with the with the Bluetooth LE technology well one will be battery efficiency and this if this was the only benefit this would probably be a huge win in my book because it will allow devices to have twice the battery life without having to put a larger battery in. It's also going to allow devices to be smaller because they won't have to have, they won't have to accommodate for the larger batteries and still get that extended battery life uh, to be able to, to use them. It'll also, um, one thing it's, it's going to when it rolls out, it's probably going to coexist with the classic SPC codec Bluetooth just for the carryover. Um, you can't roll out something and then get rid of the old technology right away. It's just not going to work with the population that way. One caveat, though, with the Bluetooth LE is with all these benefits, one downside is it it the, the audio bit rate um, is probably going to be better with the SBC, the older codec. So don't expect this to roll out right away with high-end Bluetooth headphones that uh, you want the real crisp, really um, high data rate bitstream where you're getting that, uh, that extra quality. But for the rest of us, uh, the LE experience should be plenty for, uh, for our audio experiences. So we can look forward to this technology and I'm hoping that it comes out sooner rather than later because I'd love to have um, my my headphone experience last longer and I'd love to be able to connect to multiple devices at the same time instead of having to connect to one at a time and have a seamless integration across all of our smart devices. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like so that YouTube will share it out. Consider subscribing to my channel, The Handy Hudson Knight, for more tips, hacks, and reviews like this one. And I will see you in the next video.